It's July 12 already. We are already here at the Marhaba Lounge at Geneva Airport. We're flying out today, going to Doha first. We have a nine hour layover in Doha and then we fly to Clark. So, we're here at the Marhaba Lounge sa Geneva Airport. It's pretty simple, pretty small. Even the selection of food is pretty simple. So, a uh, few minutes na lang kami actually mag-aantay and then I will share with you how our business class seats look like uh, for this flight. Uh, we are flying with uh, Airbus A350-900 of Qatar Airways. Dito sa Geneva. So we checked in at the ground floor and then you have to go up uh, the second floor for security check. And then after security check, may mga purchases kasi kami. Uh, so we had to look for the tax refund. Uh, we went again to a higher floor for the tax refund. And then may marhaba lounge siya dun sa tabi nung tax refund. Hindi dun yung lounge namin. So apparently there's another marhaba lounge pa near the gate. And then, um, yung immigration niya is actually already after the duty-free shops baligtad. So, baka lang dito kayo, tandaan, mapashopping muna kayo. Tapos hindi nyo alam may ha mahaba pala yung pila sa immigration. Hindi <laughs> yun palang, may imig yung immigration malapit palang sa gates. Although wala naman tao actually. I don't know if it's just because we had an early flight. So, there going to the gate already and we're just waiting for boarding and here's our plane the Airbus A350-900 here's my seat I am seated at 7F I got their signature lemon mint for my welcome drink and this is really good there's a socket on the side with an extra storage as well the seat remote is also here on this side Again, we have Diptyque for our kit. It has lotion, face cream, lip balm, and perfume. Here's the night light and the remote for the TV. We have two pillows and a thick blanket. And my favorite feature of this seat, I have an extra storage. I think only row 7 aisle seats seem to have it as the window seat says it's for crew use only. There's another storage here near the aisle for water and earphones. Their infotainment is nice and there are a lot of movies to choose from. And here's the menu for this flight, although we already pre-ordered online a few days prior. Here are the drinks too. This is also how the window seats look like. extra storage near the aisle and also on the side near the window. They also have this area where you can get snacks anytime during the flight. This is how the business class cabin looks like. I actually like the interior of this plane. It looks very clean and classy. Now it's time for our lunch. We got served the usual bread with butter and shrimps for appetizer. I chose the classic Arabic meze this time as my starter as I wasn't able to try it on our previous flight. And it was really good. I don't know if I'm eating it correctly but my favorite is the hummus. Then I was served the main course, our favorite lobster thermidor. We really like this, so I chose the same food in this flight. Here's a quick look at the lavatory. Hand soap and lotion are also from Diptyque. The there are some toothbrush and razors in the cabinet.
before landing, they also give out these chocolates from La Dirac and wet towels to freshen up. Overall, our experience for this flight is again very comfortable and service from Qatar flight attendants was also very good. Hello everyone! We have arrived already in Doha Airport. Uh, it's currently 4.15 here in Doha. 4.25. 4.25 na pala. We will now proceed first to the lounge. This time, meron kaming lounge access, so we'll share with you how the famous Hamad International Airport Business Lounge looks like because uh, we are staying here for 9 hours and we'll share with you also kung ano yung gagawin namin for 9 hours here at the airport with these kulit kids with us. We already went past security. This is the garden. So, nandito kami sa side na to ng airport. Look how beautiful it is. It's so nice. Tapos ang galing, they have a separate uh, transfer lane for business class passengers. And these are the stores. There. Qatar, duty free. Look how big. Para kang nasa shopping mall. Hindi siya airport. At hindi pa namin alam kung nasaan yung lounge actually. So, we will explore. Para mas marami pa ako nakitang luxury item stores dito kaysa dun sa lakad namin sa Switzerland. <laughs> si ang ganda! Ang ganda ng bubong. Para ka talagang nasa mall actually. Fair pala. Almorjan Lounge. We're already here. Ito pala siya. Sa taas ni uh, LV. Nandito pala si Louis Vuitton Lounge sa ano, Business Class Lounge, uh, Almorjan Lounge ni Qatar. Ayan. So this is the Garden Lounge. And we requested for a family room. So you can reserve a family room. Family room three. Oh, there. Oh, ayan. So, this is exclusive for us while we're here because uh, nine hours kami dito. So, this is the family room. Family room three, you can reserve it pala. So, this will be our home temporarily for nine hours here in uh, Doha Airport. Explore muna namin siya. They have a bar here in the middle. Uh, may mga food pala dito. Sushi! Hello po! Hello po! <laughs> yeah. Ang dami niyong Pinoy dito! Sa lounge! This is another area after no Japanese. May mga sandwiches naman here and salad. Also different kinds of breads. There's a third area. Oh, that looks good. Christine. 
dito naman, they have canapes and cold cuts. This is the view of the Almorjan Business Class Lounge. Ang laki niya. There's actually more on the other side and we'll try to explore that later. Nakakuha na kami ng table. Para lang kami nasa hotel. It's very nice. They choose to eat uh, Japanese. Namiss niyo Japanese? Nag-order na sila. Super ordered. I ordered way too much. <laughs> I ordered way too much. So we're here again sa Almod... Almorjan Garden Lounge. This is uh, relatively new pala. Nag-open lang daw to last year. And they say it's better because, yeah, it's overlooking the orchard. So, it's nice nga. Although, medyo mainit yung aircon, ha? It's kind of warm. Are you serious? Yeah, you try the sample. In order mo? The assorted one. Assorted one. Oh, okay. Kala ko naman busog kayo. Yogi! Did you get the sampler also, Mateo? You got the Ah, no, that's yours because you have the tamago. Mas marami pa yung sayo, Teo. Ano? This is what I got. This is a salmon with cream cheese roll. Prawn nigiri. And again, yan yung pancit. Soup. How's the food? Masarap naman. Ang food. Ang time check, it's 5.30pm here. Ang flight namin, 12.30am pa mamaya. So, we'll see what else we can do here in the lounge for 7 more hours. Tapos na kami kumain. Kami ni Nabi mag iikot-ikot muna. They have a spa and a gym. We'll check it out. This is the gym. Ito pala. But this is free daw for the lounge. Yung spa, may bayad. Parang yung pinakamurang massage is 230. Hindi uh, ko alam yung pera nila. Katari. Uh, 230, medyo uh, expensive. Medyo. <laughs> yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> so, nandito din yung LV Cafe, LV Lounge. Pero may bayad. So, we'll explore the quiet area and the showers over here. So, this is still part of the lounge, the other side. Ito yung quiet area. Kaya kami nasa kabila. Hindi pwede si Teo dito. <laughs> Ganda naman itong upuan na to. Here are the shower areas. Ito yung mga solo-solong space. If you want some peace and quiet. This is the sleeping area. So, pwede naman pala dalawa together in the room. And it's enclosed. It's pretty private din. It's very nice. Yung mga boys, andito na sa game room. There's a pool table. Tins ball. Ayan. And they're playing... PS5 ba yan? No, they're playing PS5. So, ito yung ano, nice thing about this uh, lounge. May PS5. May games. So, kahit 9 hours kami, di sila may inip. They also have a children's room. Ayan. Parang activity area. May TV. update. Tapos na silang maglaro ng PS5. Wala na silang malaro. So, ayan. Nung malaman na naman sila, they ordered a lot of sushi. 
we still have four hours we still have four hours more to go but it's pretty comfortable here in this lounge and thankfully there's uh yung family room na uh, enclosed kami this really helps a lot our turn to have dinner iniwan muna namin yung mga bata dun sa family room free dinner, free dinner date dito kami sa main dining kumain and these are good ah this pate and this salmon crostini is actually good since we still have time to go around uh, pupunta kami dun sa kabilang side ng airport and we will ride the tram inside the airport to transfer to the south side. We made it! This is their tram uh, inside the airport from north to south. South to the north. Welcome to the hangar. The train is departing to South Point Station. Nandito na kami sa south side. Mas malaki nga lang tingnan yung uh, orchard side than this swing. But they also have the big stores here. Ito yung side na may big bear. There. This side has the big bear. So, pupuntahan namin yun, naman namin yung Almer John Lounge dito. We'll check it out. Ang galing ah. Lahat ng staff na nakakausap namin, Pinoy. Yeah. Nakakaaliw lang. Nakakaaliw. And it makes it easier to communicate. Is that part? So, this is the lounge in the south. We'll head up upstairs to go to the buffet area. Check namin yung pagkain dito. Kung anong meron. Hello. So, nandito na kami. Hindi ko na video yung pagkain kasi it's basically the same. Iba lang yung itsura ng lounge dito. So, tama nga yung nag-assist sa amin kanina na Pinoy. Better nga yung itsura ni South kasi mas modern, mas relaxed kasi it's open. And then, you have a view of the you have a view of the orchard. Kasi ito parang uh, a bit formal para ka talagang nasa hotel kasi sarado. It's very private. I can see big tables for Lumbawa big family. Mm -hmm. I guess they can make way for it. This is the sandwich area. This is the sandwich area naman. All sandwiches. Ito naman din yung waiting area niya. Uh, open din naman pala dito sa area na to. Kaya lang mas maganda lang talaga yung view doon sa garden lounge. drinks na pwedeng kunin coffee machine so this is the south lounge yung lounge chairs nila dito ganito na rin yung mga charging ports niya but there's also a plug meron naman Finally, boarding time. Uh, almost 1 o'clock. Nag-survive naman yung mga boys. Nakatambay lang dun sa family room kasi may internet naman. And then at this hour, kita nyo, ang dami ng tao. Mas maraming tao ngayon kasi nung dumating kami ng hapon. Anyway, thank you, Almer John Lounge. Uh, you made our 9-hour waiting time bearable. We're waiting for our bus to board the plane. Our plane this time is the 787 Dreamliner. And here's my seat. I am seated at 3F. Here's a quick tour of my seat. Again, we have the Ptique amenity kit with a bag this time. 
and a wet towel. On the side is the remote for the TV. There's a USB charger, the controls for the seat, and the tray table and screen. This time, I got O Jenny, their non-alcoholic drink. We have two pillows and a blanket. Extra storage on the side for small bags and a socket. Here's a nightlight and a bottle of water. You can use a divider for some privacy if you're alone. Just push it down to put it up or down. The TV is pretty much the same as the other flight with the same movies. And now it's time for us to depart. Please fasten your seatbelt for taxi, takeoff, and landing. Insert the metal end into the bucket until it clicks. To adjust, pull the strap to tighten the belt. To unfasten, lift the flap and pull the ends apart. Let's check out the menu for this flight. There's late night dining and breakfast. Here are the drinks. After takeoff, we already got served the usual nuts, drinks, and bread and butter for the main meal. I got the coconut mint soup, which was different but interesting. For this leg, I got the chicken katsu with rice. It was okay, nothing great. And I ended my meal with this Basque burnt cheesecake, which was yummy. Let's do a quick tour of the lavatory. This one has a window which is interesting. Generally, the restrooms were always clean. Time to rest. The seats were again comfortable and I had a good sleep. Two hours before landing, we were served breakfast. This is the omelette with cheese and chicken sausage. And finally, we have landed at Clark International Airport. We've already arrived here at Clark International Airport. This is our first time here actually. And it's pretty nice. This is the arrivals area, yung baggage claim ni Clark Airport. Ang ganda ha? Hello! So, nandito na kami sa van pa uwi. Uh, again, we arrived at Clark International Airport. I just want to give you feedback namin with Qatar Airways. And so far, how was it? No? Yeah. The service was very good. Talagang nakafocus sila sa iyo. I would actually understand why they have the best business class. It's not the Q Suite. Again, hindi kami napunta ng Q Suite, unfortunately. Pero. Actually, the seats were very comfortable. It doesn't feel cramped. And kahit yung pagkain nila masarap. By the way, Qatar Airways has the on-demand dining. Meaning, you can eat whenever you want. Hindi sabi-sabi yung meal service nila. So you can ask them to serve you food whenever you're ready to eat. And whenever you're hungry. Uh, yun yung maganda sa kanila. And the food was good naman. Especially the lobster uh, that we had. Yung medyo hindi lang kami nasarapan is the, yung itong pauwi na na katsu curry na kinuha namin ni Nabi. Uh, it's okay, but not as good as the others that we've tried. Uh, I think if ever we have another destination na mag merong Qatar Airways, we'll definitely choose Qatar Airways again. Pati yung airport nila sa Doha, it's very beautiful, it's very nice. Although hindi ganun ka ganda yung selection ng food, Pero it was okay. Nabusog naman kami. So, thank you Qatar Airways. We also landed through Clark International Airport. And yung masasabi ko lang, maganda nga siya. In fairness, arrivals area pa yung nakita namin. Hindi pa namin nakita sa departure area. Although wala pang mga kainan, wala pang mga restaurants na pwedeng tambayan from the outside. At least on the arrival side, wala kami nakita. Kasi Starbucks ginagawa pa. But it was, um, it's really a very nice airport. Uh, so, buti na-try namin siya. And yung isa lang na na-note ko sa Clark, hinahanap nila yung customs QR code dun sa e-travel page. Sa Manila, kasi you don't need to show them the QR code. Dire-direcho mo lang. Pero sa Clark, hinanapan kami nung QR code. So, yun yung difference niya kay Manila. That's it!
it that ends our European trip for this year. Goodbye!